Hello and welcome to my 10 web AI builder tutorial where I'm going to show you how to get up and running with 10 web from absolutely scratch. If you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link down below where you can follow along with me utilizing 10 web. So here I am at the website. Let's start off with generating your website or just generate your website. From here, I've already done a little tutorial video about cloning a website, pretty easy to do. But like I said, we want to talk about the AI builder. So let's create a new website with AI. All right, so you have the option to choose of an informational website or a website with an online store. Let's just go with an informational website. So here we want to select the type of business. So if you click here, you can scroll down and just look for something that's obviously going to be similar to the website that you want to create. Doesn't have to be perfect, but generally when you go to create something, it's going to have a, a certain vibe to it. Like a bakery is probably going to have a different vibe compared to say like digital marketing agency, which even though I'm not an agency, I'm going to go with that because it's close enough. Let's click on next. All right, so let's choose your website theme and structure. So as you can see here, we have a few to choose from. I actually like this one, you know, no pictures there, just pretty much the main headline and a call to action. So I'm gonna do choose there. Now we have a choose our website theme and structure. So I like ocean blue on marketing island. So if I change this, you know, you're gonna notice that the color is gonna change a little bit. Forest, never too much green, but I think ocean blue is fantastic given my branding and name. So let's go with that. And we have this one picked, let's choose next. Next, obviously choose the color theme and structure that's going to fit best for you, your website, and your branding. All right, so we have enter your company name and describe your company. I'm going to do that very quickly. I right, so I just put, we create content and products that help online marketers and online business owners increase their traffic, leads, and sales. Let's go to next. Obviously enter in whatever your description and company are going to be. All right, so add three main services, features of Marketing Island. So if you remember when we picked our specific theme, like there was the headline up at top and there were some main sections. So kind of think of like some of the three main sections that your website might have. This is perfect because I already talked about help increasing traffic leads and sales. So if you were something completely different, say like fitness, maybe it's gonna be like weight loss, muscle building, or nutrition, right? Or maybe you're a golf swing instructor. So you're gonna talk about your golf swing, your putting, and like the mental game. So just kind of think of like what the three biggest breakdowns of what your website's going to be, that's what you can use for the feature and service here. So pretty simple, it already has it for me. Let's click on finalize. All right, and of course, like I said, since I'm gonna be starting from square one, this is gonna be where you're gonna to wanna to enter in your email to sign up. So you can sign up with Google, or you can just do any old email address with first name, last name, and password, and then simply click on sign up and preview your website. Let's do this right now, and then I will see you when we are done. All right, and so it's gonna take a little time here as it says generating your personalized AI website. It's gonna create a blank website on 10 web hosting, the homepage, the layout, generate the content of the website, generate the images. It's gonna make your website mobile friendly, which you don't have to worry about. Last but not least, it's going to finalize, which is almost done now. But when it is done, I will get back to you and we will go from there. And congrats, your website was successfully created with AI. The last thing we can do here is preview and edit. So let's click on that. All right, so here is the website. It has the color pal palette and font on the right in case we wanna change that around. Like I said, I already like that. I think it looks great. But here's gonna be Marketing Island, their services, pricing, about us, and contact. It says, transforming your online business. We are a leading digital marketing agency that specializes in creating highly effective online marketing strategies. At Marketing Island, we help businesses increase their online visibility, generate more leads, and boost their sales. Our team of seasoned professionals has extensive experience in the digital marketing space and is dedicated to helping you achieve your business goals. Let us help you transform your online business and take your brand to new heights. So that's gonna be the top there. We have explore more and get started. Now going down here, obviously if it creates something like this with our expertise, our successes and lead generation, Obviously you can either take that out or delete it because if you don't have 1.2 million in traffic boosting, probably not gonna wanna utilize that, right? So this here is going to be talking about more details when it comes to traffic boosting, when it comes to lead generation, and of course, sales optimization. Those were the three main features. That's what I was talking about. Whenever we created our structure, that's where they're gonna be and it talks about it more as well. We have all services. So we have our, our vision, innovative solutions for online success, and of course, as you scroll down, this is where it says you can try for free days. So edit your website, generate more content and images, and host a super fast website on 10 web on all the content and so on and so forth. So given the fact that this is a tutorial, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock this so we can just kind of play with it around a little bit more. Plus you get the drag and drop builder and a lot of other things. So I'm gonna do this and uh, when I am done, I will get back and we'll continue this tutorial and pretty much finish it off because there's not a whole lot else we need to do aside from use the drag and drop builder. So let's check this out and we'll continue. 
So as you can see, when you do upgrade, you get that free trial. So you get the 10 web AI builder, premium Google cloud hosting, 10K monthly visitors, and a few other things as you can see. Let's proceed and I'll show you how we can work with the AI builder. All right, so let's continue on with this 10 web AI website builder tutorial. Here we are, and it's pretty much going to be drag and drop easy or like what you see is what you get. I like saying that just in terms of like, if you want to edit something, you're going to hover over it, you're going to click on it and you're going to change it. So this is transforming your online business. Let's say we want to be marketing, right? Simple stuff, right? Now, what you can do is write with AI. There is a section right here where if you want to do a new prompt or use text, we could just say like, make it longer. Let's see what we get. All right, so in today's fast-paced digital world, having a strong online presence is essential for any business looking to succeed and so on and so forth. I'm just gonna scroll down in case you wanna read that yourself, but I don't think we need something that long. We already have uh, this right here where it's gonna be a little bit longer. So once again, if we want to change that around, we can do that. So we have a button here. If we tap on this, you're gonna notice we have default in terms of what happens, info, success, warning, and danger. Text is gonna be right here, get started. Now here's gonna be the link. So wherever you wanna send this to, obviously this is how you can change that. You can obviously, let's see, when I started typing it in, you'll notice that it had home services or about us. So whatever get started is, any page that's on here, you can automatically link to, but in case you want to like link elsewhere to say like calendly.com and then you have like your page, right? Whatever it's going to be, that's the ability to do that. If you have link options, you can do open a new window, which I recommend. Usually, I'm trying to think of times where I don't want to do that, but most of the time say, if you're gonna get someone to leave your website, have it open in a new tab or a new window because of that what happens is that when they are done in that new tab, they will still have your website open where they still have the possibility of browsing around more, which is good, right? So we can keep that. We have some alignments, size, icon position, icon spacing, and so on and so forth. A lot of this is business as usual, and that's really good. If we look out over here, we have our layout. This is gonna be the container in terms of like full width, how much it's moved over, like we wanna keep it like that. The height, the direction, the content. A lot of this looks kind of technical, but from my experience when it comes to any type of AI or just any like landing page builder, website builder, sales funnel builder, it's really just like playing around with a lot of the settings because once you have it in a spot where you want it, now you can say like, all right, maybe I want it to be not as wide. Maybe I want it to move it over. That's exactly how you can do that. Something else that's pretty cool is if you want to check what it looks like when it comes to like mobile optimization or tablet, you can simply click on this. So this is going to be the tablet section scrolling up. So this is going to be there. So it shows up when you scroll down, we have this with the little, I call the hamburglar. So when they tap on that, you know, you can see it's, it's a drop down, but this looks pretty good, pretty clean, pretty, sim pretty simple. Something I really like, obviously there's some stuff on the bottom. You're going to want to edit overall. Cause as we go down here, this is probably something you're going to want to edit too. So ending number, and it's gonna go all the way up to 999. Pretty cool how it has the counter like that. So that's something you might wanna actually like change around. Or say if you didn't wanna use it, we can go with X here and that's gonna be gone. That's probably a good thing because I'm sure those numbers, maybe you don't know them. Maybe, obviously they're probably not gonna be accurate since they're pretty simple overall. We have more details here once again. So if we click on this here, this is where the link's gonna go. So if we want to change this, all we need to do is click on here. This is gonna be our text, right? So we're probably not gonna to wanna to use the exact text every single time, right? We can click here to change around that text. And of course we have some pictures here. I mean, if you wanna utilize them, you can. It says, don't let unoptimized images be the downfall of your site's performance. Use image uh, optimizer in case you wanna use that. So what you can do is if you wanna choose an image, you can click right here and get a different one. So that's how you would do that. Let's just scroll down a little bit more so we can see more of the stuff that's involved. Once again, these are just gonna be some sections here. Scrolling down, we have pictures, we have text, and of course we have the buttons where we can add our links. Here we have pricing, and if you're not utilizing pricing, I think we know what to do here. Let's see, pricing is gone there. All right, so if we did wanna add a widget here, what we can do is go over in the element section right here with the add elements. We can do a container if we wanna drag and drop that. This is gonna be right here. And if we click right here, once again, this is where we can add more of those. That's just bringing up a similar section there. So if we did wanna add a video, you're gonna notice here's gonna be our video. Okay, let's get rid of that. And a cool thing, if we wanna do undo, there is an undo here. So just so you know that, in case you make a mistake and you wanna undo something like the easy way, that's gonna be a way of doing it. We have Google Maps, we have some spacers, we have text editors, we have video images, headings. 
All right, here's gonna be the footer too. Like obviously this can be changed around or we can just remove some of this. Like maybe you don't want a phone number or whatever it's going to be. Uh, and as I was talking about, this is just gonna be like the quick overview. I didn't save a lot of that just to kind of show you what it's going to be about. But if you did want to save it, this is gonna be at the top right. That's just an overview and a tutorial of the AI website builder when it comes to 10 web, pretty easy to do. And I think the great thing about it is that AI is gonna do most of the heavy lifting because what you can do is choose your color scheme. You know, if you like that, that's pretty simple to do, right? The layout and the structure as I talked about, I like this one where it's just gonna be a headline, a little text, and then some of the call to actions where you can explore more. Heck, you could probably just get rid of the explore more section and then just keep the get started. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I hope this helps you out when it comes to getting up and running and just kind of giving you an idea of what you can work with when it comes to their AI website builder for 10 web. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.